ran all the way. I have to be back to work by one. Leggere, leggere. Did you practice those new exercises I gave you last time? I tried. Really, I did. But there are so many things to do at home. Cara mia, you do not have too many years left to make the break into opera. Mary's leukemia is out of remission. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. So, vieni. We begin now, eh? of five children, always responsible, always dependable. Time and dreams sacrificed to family and duty. Rosemary, soon to receive a gift of time, offered by one who can least afford it, a first fleeting glimpse into the twilight zone. Check the McCall's pattern if you don't believe me. Then I had to listen to your aunt complain about Joey working hey, at Mama. Martino's. She thinks he puts his hand on the meat scale. Mm, Dorothy, keep your fingers out of the polenta. just about ready. Are you coming to the table? Let me just lie down for a minute. Your birthday's in a few days. You'll never guess what I got you. Special. I saved all year for it. Who says I would want to guess? It's supposed to be a surprise, isn't it? Rosemary? Yep? When I die and after I'm dead a long time, you will still remember me, won't you? What kind of a thing is that to ask? I just don't want you to forget me. Till my dying day, you'll always be in my heart. And nothing will change that. Good. Because when you're an opera star and you travel all over the world, I know you will. If only you'd believe it as much as I do. And when you stand on stage and sing, I'll be there. In a way. Mary, you know that's never gonna happen. Yes, it will. Stop saying that it won't. If only you could get out of here. I don't have much time, but you have your whole life ahead of you. Do something before it's too late. Sorry, I didn't mean that. 
It's all right, don't worry about it. Sometimes I still dream about leaving here and singing. Remember when we used to go up to the roof and look for shooting stars and make a wish? Uh-huh. Warm summer nights, chocolate ice cream, and shooting stars. I always made the same wish. Look, Rosemary, a shooting star. Oh, yeah, sure. How can you see anything from here? What on earth are you doing? I made a wish for you. <laughs> what a dreamer. Mm. I wish it were that simple. I'll walk you to the table. I'm sorry I'm late. I lost the ticket to the laundry, and it took the clerk a while to find it. Papa? Where is everybody? I waited for you. I have to show you something. Listen. You hear it? Isn't it wonderful? It's my wish. Follow the music and you'll see. Wonderful. I saw it. But remember to come back. She keeps talking about the music. What music? Yes. Uh, Where do you want to go? The Metropolitan Opera. 
Sure. Lincoln Center coming right up. No, I said the Met. You're from out of town, right? No. Well, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. Yes, anyway, the Met, that's over at Lincoln Center. like they started without you. The opera. The matinee just started. But I don't think you missed too much. Does anyone have an extra ticket for this performance? Oh, yes, I have. I have two. They're in the balcony. Oh, uh, I only need one. Can I just buy one? Sure. Why not? Good. How much? $25. $25 for the balcony? What can I say, dear? After all, it is Maletti. Yes, it is. Nice to see you. Thank you. is magnificent, isn't she? People will just have to wait till the singers come out. No one is allowed backstage for autographs. Excuse me. I'm Dorothy Marinacci, Miss Maletti's sister. My name's on the list. Oh, my God. Oh, Mrs. Marinacci, OK? You can go on in. Thank you. I'm on the list. My name is Mary Maletti. I think I'm on the list. Oh, yeah, here it is. OK, go on in. Teresa ordered your birthday cake at Santini's Bakery in the old neighborhood, and they were so impressed because it was with a great rosemary that they gave it to her for free. So then she tried it over at Dominic's, but they weren't so impressed. It's hard to believe that so much time has gone by. Rosemary, Marie, please. Whew. 
I did feel it this time. It's your birthday present. Sorry I couldn't wrap it. Open it, please. To live life fully, one should hear the melody the world makes. Pity those who stumble through their years without ever hearing the song. The greatest gift we can bestow on those we love is to help them hear it. One life ends, another begins, but the song of life fills the universe, even into the last, highest, darkened balcony row in the Twilight Zone.